Hello everybody. How are you going? Alright, so we're just pulling this up now. That is awesome. It's on the ready. And excellent. Oh. Sorry about that. Just knocked a few things flying. As you accidentally do. There we go. And so I really enjoyed doing that dream catcher in the alcohol ink and then doing the embellishing over it with the Posca markers. Um, but what I really want to work on is doing some smaller ones and creating these backgrounds uh, really quite pale so very soft and light so see how that goes hello Michelle you're in Florida how is Florida today thanks so much for coming in to a live stream coming to you from Australia so that's awesome very hot oh boy oh dear are you a heat person or do you prefer winter g'day miss Doris how are you going hello all right so awesome having you guys here I look forward to this I really do so I've got out the colors I've chosen the lightest ones that I have I don't know if I'll use this Baja blue as yet this way because um, I haven't diluted it this sun bright yellow has been diluted there was very little amount left in the bottle and so I just added some isopropyl alcohol to it and shook it up and so that's very diluted uh, this pink is very light all on its own and this gold I just added a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to that as well and what do we got here so this one I had a huge big spill leaked everywhere so during the cleanup process and cleaning inside the cap this is what I came out with because I put isopropyl alcohol into a cup and then soaked the cap in it and then so this is a very diluted version of teal so and that's what I love this stuff just is so highly pigmented um, the lime green <clears throat> I've put a few drops into this little shot glass and added some isopropyl alcohol to that as well as the same here so I have the blue violet and that is in this one also very diluted so they're the colors we're going to go with I'm going to create these ones so it's not going to be a huge live, which is sometimes a nice thing um, because I mainly want to focus on creating these as a background to uh, do some more embellishing on top of and yeah, having some fun, just being free, have some fun. I do have a pipette here which I might use for some colours maybe. Let's check out how this went. Oh yeah, that's really diluted. Nice. Okay. That is cool. Happy with that. So let's just work on that one in particular now. So say, hello. How are you doing? Some 
yellow in there. That already reminds me of um, lime citrus. So let's check out some teal. And some pink. Alrighty. Let's see what it brings. I'll just use my heat gun. So I'm going to do it on low air, low heat. Marlene, hi from Alberta, Canada. Thanks so much, Marlene. Appreciate you coming to watch a stream all the way from Australia. So, I hope what I like to say is that I hope that throughout these videos, may you be inspired, learn something new. Or simply relax while you're watching. So I think for this one in particular I'd like to add some more of the lime. No, I'd like to add some more yellow around those pink areas to see if it can also create a really nice orange. Let's see how that goes. So there we have that one. This one to me looks vibrant, it looks fresh and I kind of see like that greenery 
around that fresh growth that's still a bit yellow coming into that vibrant green and some flowers and it was completely accidental but I think that one turned out lovely and of course I'm going to embellish over it because that's the whole purpose so fun 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 so I've actually got two tiles and two photo papers so these ones are four inch square tiles and then the four by six photo papers very pretty Tracy thank you Doris hello jelly bean how you going so pretty Michelle thank you so let's see might try and aim towards the teal and the blue violet and let's try some of the gold because that's a little bit diluted not a lot just a little bit um this is very pretty i really enjoyed a tile a day series that you and Doris did awesome thank you had a lot of fun during that we were looking forward to it we started planning it about in the two months prior so yeah so awesome good good glad to hear it okay so I think I need a little cup with some alcohol in it to wash this out Let's just give it a go. That is so pretty. I love that color. Now add some teal. Might get a bit lost in there because it is more diluted. And grab the heat gun and start with that. We'll add the gold. No, we will add the gold now. I think the the teal will get swallowed up. So let's add some splashes. Give it a little bit of movement throughout that. There's a lot of alcohol on there, which is good. That will really support movement. But unfortunately, it will also really support the colors blending. So I'll just grab the teal and keep that with my left hand. So I can add when I feel I need to. And I'll turn it around because it looks like I've got a bit of a lean. And potentially get those out of the way. Okay. Just make sure they go all the way to the edges. It's not really a stress if they don't. Picking an area to direct the heat and the air. Thank you. 
there's still a little bit of moisture in that section there but what I'm going to do is just leave it and let it evaporate on its own and move all the area. So this one is nearly done. So my thoughts on this one, let me just catch up with the chat. Okay. Running late tonight, hello, hello. Okay, these are pretty, thank you. Hey Celine, how you doing? So this one, let's have a close up. So it's definitely a lot more subtle which is great for a background I actually think there's too much gold on there because it kind of sunk and just spread I was hoping for a little bit of highlight with it um, you know around these veins uh, edges but uh, as it is I think it's still very pretty and perfect for a background. You love the colours and how soft it looks. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. So, so far, really happy. Two very different tiles as well. So, so I'm very bright and fresh. And then more soothing and relaxed so while that's got a bit of heat in it I'll just keep it on a lid and then let's test out these photo papers this one nearly blew away you agree never too much gold <laughs> All right, so we'll work on this one. I just, oh yeah, sorry about that big hit with the heat gun too. What's the largest size I've worked with? Um, for, for alcohol ink, I have <clears throat> done an A3. So the measurement Oh, it doesn't specify on there. I don't quite know what an A3 measures, like the actual dimensions, but yeah. 
Alright. So now some colours. I want to go back into some pinks. So I'll put down some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol first to give it some plain ink to disperse into. There's some pink. I really love this yellow. Sun bright yellow. Sure is. And I think maybe the blue violet this time. So a combination. Let's see what that brings. And all right. I have to oh I do have to be careful of that yellow and the blue violet. You've been working on a 9 by 12 UPO. Okay, awesome. That um, inches, Michelle, just to clarify. a little bit disappointed in this one the colors are still very strong so maybe I just straight up too much alcoholic pigmented alcoholic on there so let's have a look yes inches awesome awesome um, Michelle if you would like to share any of those with me um, I do have a Facebook group which is creating and sharing with Tracy. Don't forget the E in Tracy. Um, yes, yeah, so that would be awesome. I'd love to have a look and see what you're doing and and help any of your processes. Um, so that's for everyone too, if you've got Facebook and you want to join our group. Um, there's no pressure in the group. It's share if you'd like to. You don't have to. Anything like, you know, it's there for all of us.
haven't tried alcohol in here. You make it look easy. Well, I don't know about that right now, Jelly Bean. This is this one's given me a little bit of a test. I just thought I might try and see if I could get some more yellow in there, but then I realised it's a purple patch. It might turn gross. Or I might blow it away. So in there, except for this one spot, which I'd like to get, I ended up deciding that I'd like to go with, make it deliberate with the darker colours and see what happens with that. So this is where I'll leave this one. Um, to embellish this one, maybe I'll use darker, darker colours or lighter colours. Who knows? I might feel like I want to do something specific and this one might just jump out at me and say, yes, that's what I'm here for. So, I think it looks a little bit darker than it does on the screen. But that's not bad. Okay, I haven't used it either. Can you add them to acrylic paint to enhance the colour? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, you can uh, use it in resin. Um, it doesn't have a very good colour fastness in resin, um, but... You know, if you do it on your UPA paper, um, tiles, um, prepared, like if you prep a, a canvas or a substrate, like a canvas panel uh, with um, some either white house paint, sand it, white house paint or gesso. And then you can use the alcohol inks on top of that surface as well. But you've also got this. Krylon UV archival varnish in matte. The matte spray does not reactivate the alcohol like the satin or the gloss does. So that's why this one is recommended to use over alcohol inks. And it just gives it that UV protection it doesn't already have in the alcohol ink. So... I mean, I can't paint. Uh, awesome. Yeah, Michelle. Go check out, you know, jump on a Facebook, check it out. Um, happy to help wherever I know. If ever I know something and I can help, I will. So, yeah. Oh, can it go into the paint, Doris? There you go. Michelle, you've just requested to join. Awesome. I'll get onto that later. Uh, just be aware that too, it is 11.34 at night here, so p.m. And... I will be going to bed not long after this, so there's not a lot I will do tonight. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, sounds awesome. 
So I'm just going to put some clear down on either side of this and see what we can create from this one. See if I can maintain a nice, pale, soft background. So that is very, very soft. I don't quite know that I wanted to go that soft. Did I knock something over there? Because there's a lot of alcohol ink right there. Okay. It will evaporate. So now Let's add a couple of drops of the clear again and add in some tiny, tiny drops. Oops, can't even. Of the blue violet. Move it around. We're getting that softness a little bit there. I think I just want to add in a little bit of this is just the teal now. Add in a little bit of extra features and then that's it.
Okay, so I am just, it's called experimenting, try it with a small canvas. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Carolyn, how are you doing? The colours are pretty together, thank you. All right, so I'm kind of feeling that I haven't really got a light touch right now. Maybe it's just tonight. I don't know. But with this one, I love the colours too. So, you're good. Glad to hear it. So, I'm going to use the spritz bottle. With This has got the isopropyl alcohol in it as well. And it softens everything up. So, actually, make sure I move these other tiles out. You see that there's some little spots on there. I love it. Let's go again. No, Carolyn, it's not posted yet. There was a few things I had to do and then there was a couple of issues I came across. So I will let you know once to keep an, when to keep an eye out for it. All righty. So that one's there, we're going to leave it as it is. Yeah. All right. Fabulous. There we go. Let's just pull them all in. We'll have a close up with them and then we'll sign off for the night so please subscribe if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up on your way out and leave a comment below for those watching the replay thank you so much for those who've come into the live and have come in to say hello that's lovely i appreciate it so much I think I'm a bit swelling, give a headache. Oh, you get a headache. That's no good. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. I appreciate that. Got a lot more things under control now. So, a few of those things that got in our way. getting everything sorted and happy with that thanks tracy found this very interesting bye for now thank you very much bye jelly bean okay so pull these out we'll have a close-up so we definitely got some different different backgrounds created which is awesome because you don't really want to have the same thing over and over. Okay. Pretty sure we can take that off there now. And I also really feel like I'm loving this one, which I felt like I was struggling with. So, hello Gina Bina, how are you going? All the I'm great. Thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate that. 
So we've got our zesty, fresh spring floral. You're good. Glad to hear it. Very pretty. Thank you so much. This one is the more softer of the blue violet and the Baja blue, was it? And that gold. That's the gold shimmering in there. So all are gorgeous. Thank you, Doris. So that one's a little bit of a warmer one. A little bit bolder colours. And then the softer teal and blue violet. Oh, this is going to be fun. So all of these are for embellishing. They will be, have more beauty added to the top of them. So, yeah, really happy with that. They turned out amazing. So, a couple of different angles. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you so much. Great to come on before you leave. <laughs> you have a great day. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. I'm so glad you made it in. And yeah, you too. Have a great day. Can't decide which one I like the best. I enjoyed this. Thank you. Good night to you. It's morning here. Oh, Marlene, have a fabulous day. So thanks so much for coming in and watching and joining in. So I'll leave you focused in there. Just check the last of the chat. Hopefully, I, if I have missed something, I'm so sorry. I've tried to catch everything as much as I could. And morning, Doris. Chris, thanks, Tracy. All just gorgeous. Thank you so much. Hello to you. Um, Doris. Good night. Good night from us. Happy day to you, Miss Doris. And Carolyn, New York, yes. Fabulous. Michelle, I had to wo work earrings while watching. Ooh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Gina Bina, bye for now. Bye. Take care, everybody. If you have to go anywhere, that's really important. Make sure you look after yourself. So... From me, thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing. See you another time, Carolyn. And from myself, be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.